I'm so tap tap. And let's take a quick look at Monument Valley. I don't know if I'll do a full playthrough of this. Uh, <laughs> this is one of those games that I absolutely love. Um, it's perfect for my kind of thing, but everyone already knows it exists. And like everything about it, so I don't know if I should do a video, but I thought I was in a recording mood. I was already recording some mobile games. And hey, why not? Monument Valley. Probably the best couple bucks you can spend on your dang phone. Monument Valley. <laughs> no, no. Um, it kind of makes me a little sad, actually, because, like, this is what mobile gaming could be like. In very, very, very narrow context, this is what mobile gaming is like. I mean, it's a mobile game. Um, but you, you know what I mean. Most, <laughs> most mobile games are not like this. Um, just a very good little puzzle game. Absolutely beautiful visuals. And um, as I was kind of thinking while I was playing uh, Blue, another little puzzle game, it's a lot like a Flash game. Um, the production value is obviously a lot higher here than on most Flash games, but just it has that feeling of a really specific, narrow context of what we're going to do. It's a fixed perspective. It's got, it's going to do these, you know, MC Escher puzzles. Um, and. It just does that one thing really well, and every level has its own different, you know, there's pretty much always a little gimmick each level. And it doesn't overstay its welcome, it just does really great stuff, and then it's done. And I, I just love that, and the, like I said, Flash games are very often like that. You play them for like, you know, maybe a couple hours at most, um, often maybe like a half hour, and you get a lot of uh, what there is to be done. So my performance is a little jerky. I think that's my Chromecast. <laughs> it's always causing me troubles. But uh, just absolutely beautiful game. Um, I'm a big fan of the low poly and flat color look anyway. But uh, they do it particularly well. I feel a little silly talking about Monument Valley. Who, who, who has not heard of it? Who, who hasn't heard of Monument Valley? But hey... I'm sh I always think that, and then I'll do a live stream and like, oh, everybody's seen this game. And then a bunch of people are like, oh, what's this? I've never seen this. So maybe, you know, why not? There's the Monument Valley 2 out, which I haven't finished yet. Um, I just kind of got started on, on it. And I don't remember why, but I was just playing something else instead. I'll probably pop that open right after this. I just love the look and everything. Nice chill vibes with the music, too. By the way, um, if you enjoy the kind of puzzles in this game, also check out Echo Chrome. I don't, I don't know if they ever made a mobile one. Um, it was on PS3 and uh, PSP, I believe. Um, it was an uh, even earlier, very MC Escher-inspired puzzle game that was monochrome, and it was really cool. I don't think I ever did a video of that, either, did I? Hello, Mystery Sultan. Give me your secrets. Long have these old bones waited in darkness. You're a ghost now. I don't think you have bones. No offense. Sorry, that was uncool. That was uncalled for. It's, it's, you know, you, you're trying your best. How far have you wandered, Silent Princess? I don't know. Why are you here? When is Totem? I don't remember when Totem is. I want to show you Totem. To totem. Best girl. Wait. Is that Totem? It, no, it just kind of looks like it. I don't remember how far I would have to get in to show you Totem, but... Oh. Rip. I love the, the the playful feeling of the, um, that's something Nog excelled in. Oh, here we go. Um, just that tactileness of, like, things making sound and jiggling around, like, very, not just rigidly, but just kind of, you can futz with it. I love that. More games need to let you futz with things. the deal here. Oh, 
Oh, oh, there's a ladder. <laughs> I'm blind, sorry. I didn't see the little ladder there. Isn't it fun to watch people solve puzzles and get confused? And you scream at your computer, do the thing! That's, that's part of why I don't usually do puzzle games and definitely don't usually, you know, do a full playthrough. I'll usually just do a quick look at the first few levels, you know, until I start getting stuck, because then... Then what do I do? I either have to play the whole game first and then go back and, you know, nothing is fresh. You know, it's just me redoing a thing, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but it's just not how I usually do things. I like a little quick look. And I've been kind of mean, I'm probably going to be doing a lot more of that in 2020. It's a whole brand new year over here, I guess. I guess I didn't do a New Year's video. I'll have to do a little quickie update thing, which you might have already seen by now. But, um, yeah, I'm kind of thinking... Maybe less streams, but more consistent. Like, a consistent day that I have live streams. Um, and more quick looks and stuff. I, I, I don't want to get too tied down to any one thing. I think that that's kind of where I want to be. Um, question. I, I'm, I'll do this in the weekly update video thingy. Um, but, I love the, uh, is that a Taurus? I don't remember how you call these non-Euclidean thingarinos, but... It has the qualities of a Mobius strip. I don't know if you would call it one, though. It's not really a strip. It's like a, a Mobius triangle. Um, anyway, um, I'm considering between streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Um, I had been fairly happy with Twitch. Um, they've removed a few features that I use. Um, other things have gotten nicer. Um, I'm just kind of torn. Um, it is nice to have everything in one place. Um, what do I do here again? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I, I also really appreciate um, the... It's really choreographed as to what you can interact with. Um, I was recently just playing uh, Uncharted again, and it does a pretty good job at that. The original one, not as much. The original one was a lot less well choreographed, but uh, Uncharted 2 is really great. Speaking of streaming, we might have to stream that. I just love... Just, I'm a big sucker for little dioramas and just little personalized worlds. Like This game was made just specifically for, for me. Everyone else got to make it, got to enjoy it, but they made it for me, I know. I know the secret. There's little dioramas and stuff like this. I love that in Fez, too. This game kind of gives me some Fez vibes. It's got kind of... It's got some of the aesthetics, I would say. Just so peaceful. You just uh, That's another thing I love. Um, a puzzle game, a good puzzle game. It needs to put you in a calm state of mind. I think most of them really, you know, aim for that. But just the music and the peaceful aesthetics just work particularly well in this one. Stupid crows. We don't like you. We don't like the crows. Oh, oops. <laughs> I love little things like this. Uh, what do we do here again? Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> oh, hello, friend. When's Totem Pole, though? What's up, buddy? Man, now uh, I have... I, I mostly remember how to do some of this. I could do... Uh, what do you think? Should I do a full playthrough of this? I love that infinite water. Just put a water wheel on that puppy. Third law of thermodynamics, gone. This was the Valley of Men. Lisa. <laughs> uh, now that all that remains are our monuments, stripped of their glories. Leaving princess, why have you returned? Oh, 
dare you call me a thief. I'm a big sucker for Lotus stuff, too. I guess it's just kind of fairly common stuff among good aesthetics, but this, this game hits a lot of good high points for me on the, you know, visual and mood levels. I'm trying not to say aesthetic every sentence, but I mean, it's a relevant word. Especially when kind of like, to me aesthetic was when something you know, beyond just the visuals, just like, you know, I wouldn't say graphics in this case. I mean, the graphics are great, but it's kind of a cohesive whole that makes Monument Valley what it is. The bothersome crow people. Okay, <laughs> that's that is very accurate. Look at these, these, I hate these guys. Worst, worst. Every, every good game has to have something that you don't like about it and crow people. Crow people are good at being bad. Look, look at them. I hate them. They also look like me, but like with my neck broken backwards and like my hat used as a beak, which really, really makes me uncomfortable actually. I don't like that at all. Yeah, yeah. At least they don't actually attack you. They're still somehow really annoying despite this. Yeah, get screwed, buddy. <laughs> that, that, that is satisfying though. Just be like, nope, no crow. Why does he get to do that? I don't get to do that. They don't let me do that. Oh, man. What? Whatever, man. He's got the gravity boots. He's, you know, he got. The, he's got the second tier upgrades. I've only got the first tier upgrades. I can't. Y y you know how it do. I think the totem is a little while away. But we'll finish this one up. Colors too. I got all those colors. What? Oh. Alright, you can't spin it around while they're on it. Oh, wait. Yes, you can. Oh, it's uh, you can't spin around when I'm on it. That's what it was. That little, little clockwork gear ruins things. How did ancient people figure this crap out? <laughs> this is, that was another thing that, you know, very noticeable in Uncharted. Everything, you know, ancient civilizations had fully functional elevators and everything, but hey, why not? Across. Let him go across. Then zoop! Inside. And sh And he's doomed. Trapped. Trapped in the hole forever. Serves him right. He's he's a crow. I, I don't like him. He's he's dead to me. Assuming he needs air to breathe, he's probably dead to himself as well, but you know. Let's not think about that. No, stop. See, this is why no one likes you. This is why no one <laughs> likes crows. Oh, frick, frick off! Oh, I can't go that way. I hate that one on the side. Why is he gonna do that? I can't do that. Just... Trying to make me jealous of his upgrades. Oh, the colors, though. Just good colors. Good colors add so much to a game. Just just bland colors, and that's one of the things I didn't like the most about the PS3 generation. Everything tried to be realistic and stuff, and it just meant no colors. That's not realistic. Have you seen life? Life has colors. It's there's a lot of colors out there. Let them let them be there. Put even more colors than real life. That, that makes it better than real life, right? Just give me colors. Lots of colors. Alright. That bird
weird sound. Really reminds me a lot of Ocarina of Time. Kind of the, um... Oh man, what are those called? The, the, the crow things. They're not crows, but I mean... Come on, they're, they're crows. How much do you think it would cost to build this? I'm gonna say a lot. I'm gonna say a lot of dollars. Like, dozens. Literally dozens of dollars. Or possibly even more. Look at that moon, though. That, that's... Love that. Give me more night skies. Give me more skies that aren't just black or blue, by the way. More games need just beautiful colored skies. I don't care. I don't care why. Just give them to me. You, you'll make a reason. I don't care if it's magic. I don't care if it's science. I don't care if it's completely unexplained. Just more colors. Everything needs more colors. Except for the rainbow, because it already has all of them. But you, you know what I mean. That's Monument Valley and me yelling at colors. Um, how many more things are there? Oh jeez, are we really halfway through already? Maybe I will finish it up. You know? But not in this video. That's Monument Valley. I, I think we're gonna complete this. I, I, I really enjoy that. By the way, there's a DLC for this. Uh, it's like more levels and- And people got mad that there was more levels! Like, it was like a two dollar expansion pack and it was like another hour or so of uh, stuff. It's like, hey, can you- can you enjoy a super good movie for an hour for like two bucks? No. It's like nine bucks for like, you know, Adam Sandler turns into a carrot and like- <laughs> Nah, no, that, that, that ain't for me. But, that's Monument Valley. What do these buttons do? I don't remember. I think I have my... I think there was an iOS exclusive, like... World thing. Monument Valley 2... And his dream. Forgotten Shores. Standalone adventure. I think people actually got so mad. I think Forgotten Shores was the DLC, which I did buy. Um, and then they added I Ida's Dream for free or something to, like, make people less mad, but, like, come on, people. There's no ads, there's no BS, there's no, um, you know, Gashapon, there's no in-game currency to grind infinite hours on. It's just more game. And the funniest thing is, like, if they had released that DLC as a separate game, which it basically already is, like, no one probably would have complained. <laughs> It's just the concept of value on mobile stuff is so dumb, and I'm pretty glad there's at least some games like this out there. <laughs> there's way too few, but you know. That's my name in Valley for today. Good night, or whatever time it is. That's the problem with you know bidding farewells and pre-recorded things, isn't it? Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.